home and away, in real time, a Lysen standing still, it is a tale of passage and hardships, discoveries, and enlightenment. During the seventh season, Elizan was still young filled with trepidation with only a slight knowledge. Through the window, his eyes flashed outside, then he had all the space to start. He had the guts to survive, and that is a thought in his head, to learn and get relevant information. With the feeble mindset, Elizan was born in Western Tania, in a small village called Malona, a village with its own story. This was a village of all sorts of wonders, folks without mind complexion, ignorance hovering all over the land, domestic violence, school dropouts, early marriage, alcohol, and substance abuse. In case you asked questions, the native land was contaminated and family ties scattered. When Elizan was in his tenth season, his only nurse and grandmother died turning his life upside down now a story within a story. That incident happened four seasons after he recorded the death of his biological mother. Elizan recalls, Toes rolling down his black and shiny cheeks, he has a slender posture and his black face with all specifications representing African song. The land with plenty of resources, Africa, according to the colonial perspective was brought to limelight by the British Empire. It seemed events were printed in the mines and from this case Africa was still under the gradual and challenging revolution. To capitalize on social, economic, and political stands, Africa chased opportunity on the basis of information. Elizan was not yet informed and what he needed was ample time. Although Elizan's flashback pains his current life though he has nothing to do since that was his past. In spite of that, he struggles to break the customs, culture, traditions, and norms. He lives as a wanderer, passing through lines of total poverty, lack, and corruption. Fighting such needed an opening of controversial power to unlock what others cannot see. Life always unfolds challenges to humans, and Elizan from the village of Malona was suffering from lack, and that aspect ranges from the intelligent substance to a thought of more increased life. His home had a face of regrets. All men and women suspecting themselves to have lived incomplete life in their eyes. You could read ignorance, over-clinching on traditional knowledge, informality in understanding. According to a lesson, any young boys and girls living in such conditions of a village were exposed to dangers to be in early marriage, uncertainties, and the dangers to start drinking local and illegal brews, and all the same to learn irrelevant vices. Elizan has seen a series of wire tales. In events, he confirms there must be a secret thing behind every encounter. Suddenly, most young people find themselves in puzzling situations. They might need a place to hide, a place with more than one or two chances to escape. It means during Ellison's times of childhood he needed wise intelligence with proper guiding principles to nature and groom growing mums in the society. The son of Africa, in this case, Ellison, lived in a deeply affected apprenticeship and this was the doom of hopelessness and uninformed foundation. Parents had forgotten their responsibilities, love, and what they happened to embrace was related to overlooking cultural heritage. Rebellion and fear forced them to operate around non-revolving generational knowledge. Mothers isolated their girls and all the same boy child was still in danger. If you could have been there you could have promised someone a slap just because such incompleteness and possessiveness in distracting moral transitions was a mess and abnormal. Still at home, Elizan grew in a disturbed society that praises money and riches. They believe that riches add value, but they fail to teach their children how to acquire wealth through the so-called traditions. In the village of Malona, lust and anxiety echoes and domestic violence covered the particular land, and there was no hope for the future. It seems parents had turned against their children. Moral values were despised and growing up uprightly was like forcing a needle into a blunt object. Elizan's case is on a template of knowledge, to understand or ignore to take heed or take chance. He then decides to start a race to find and secure his life, a young boy who found himself in the streets. As a street boy, he witnessed all kinds of evil, man manipulating man, young and old, after all, they had to look for multiple ways to survive learning and unlearning possible tactics to develop or create. Elizan had passed through advanced challenges and the society stands there to blame. There must be a community with a plan. A community with events to sanitize the society to clear domestic foods and such could only be fought through a united and conscious mindset. Families separated through a divorce 
and most children grew without their mothers. Elazan had not even forgotten how his relationship with his father divided, and the incident forced him to move out while still young. His stepmother did not hesitate to enforce this kind of conflict. There was no option at all to quit his own and native home, and that is how Elazan found himself in the streets looking for an ample environment to continue living his life differently away from home. These types might be branded as lunatics, young people, children, who end up in streets chasing women to grab her porches. The event is afflicted by a lack, understanding, and conflict between town and village life. But they have nothing to do. They grew with a kind of unaccepted freedom, doing what they think is better on their side. These cases are human. Design failures and society becomes unsafe for problem solving. As the outcome springs, systems of injustice might pop up in the coming times. Development is determined by how children are taught while still young. Elizan is now in the city where most of the country's development is rated administered and a center for political antagonism, real estate investment, and many other advanced innovations and management. He finds more organized knowledge, opportunities, and outgoing men and women. The kind of exposure draws a different picture. He witnesses the trumpets and talented musicians showcasing their talents. He finds out that some people don't even know what they are missing or what they are made of. It is therefore worth calling to practice something noble away from home. Through such exposure, one might go back home and change almost everything. It is all about living a legacy and giving back to our society. Elazan took the time to accept change. He tried to compare the content from Malona village and the one from the city. He found it and realized how parallel the situation might be. In the city, everybody seemed to be fighting the same enemy. Poverty. Male and female walking on the food paths as if they are chasing something. Back home where Elizan was born, the malefactor dominates the community paralyzing women with their ambitions. The revolution in the city is influencing, considerable, and quite encouraging for human development. He learns that some wired faces in the city have odd and more so perplexing happenings. People whose life seem to have turned in a complete somersault before even hitting the grounds of failure. Most men have embraced alcohol, smoking, and defiling their bodies. Elizan's desperate discoveries compel him to realize that boy-child needs informed empowerment. The kind of empowerment proceeds with understanding, straight and forward conversations where every person needs thinking stuff to change the look of things and how things are done. It is therefore quite involving to produce accepted products in society, a society where the revolution of trade, commerce, social, and political stands happen continuously. It calls for engaging midst it a youth who decides to follow in the footsteps of people who work and behave in a certain way. Elizan decides to close some chapters, he thought, and he has a story that makes things change. He overreacted on his past and the history of events. Now for such a tale, he focuses on a new beginning, a beginning to bring back what was lost, childhood ambitions, to create happiness and trust, love, and true relationship. He will finally start the journey to taste the fruits of a changed mind. He fights back to possess the powers of transition. It is right that the gaining principle is cautious, more with possible observations. The end.